Konnichiwa Mina, and today is the day, or at least I'm hoping, depending on if I'm able to get up there to battle red, and hopefully I win, as this is hopefully the final episode of my Heart Gold Randomized playthrough, and ho oh boy, I got a whole team ready to go at level 84 too, that's probably the strongest team you're probably going to need of anyone since red's between um, 81 to 88 levels. So anyways, you all know Kake, who finally learned Outrage 2, Kizuna, Sayaka, Yuriko, and Shuto. You all haven't seen in a while when I seen him back. But this one guy you haven't probably seen in a long ass time. Daiki, remember the Larry Tar that I caught. Look at that, the, almost at the very beginning of the series, May 10th. The series was in May 2016, so over in the house. So yeah, that was really, really, really a long time ago. Like within the first like five episodes or so. I think I used him in like the middle of the series, after like the fourth gym or something like that, but he didn't last very long, and I brought him back, and look at that attack and stuff, that's gonna be so useful and stuff, and of course, I looked it up, I watched someone's playthrough going through Mount Silver and stuff, and unfortunately I did need Rock Climb, so I had to, ooh, a Togepi, because remember I have that Togepi still from, um, the egg, which I never used at all, I remember Jigsy, say, another Eevee, how about that, so, Two Pokemon I've already caught, and I see them again. I was right, I was, because I taught, um, because I knew Frash, well, he know Frash, and I taught him Hyper Beam, thinking that maybe its attack is around the same as its, um, I mean, its special attack is around the same as its attack, and I see Janine there. I think I'm going, yeah, it's the way I think I'm supposed to go. And I taught it Hyper Beam, and found out that, oh my god, its attack is actually, like, I mean, its special attack is like a hundred points weaker! Good god, it was ridiculous! So then I, Oh well, I'm going to have to deal with Hyper Beam. Especially since I don't have to worry about um, hitting multiple times to worry about confusing stuff. But then I found, oh shit, I'm going to need Rock Climb and stuff like that. Then what am I going to do? And I finally found out when I made the team up to level 84 that either Kizuna or um, Daiki can learn it. And of course I chose um, Daiki to get rid of Hyper Beam. Alright, so heal up to be safe. Because I'm pretty sure you, I don't know if you have to outright visit the center or heal up there in order to be registered as returning there if I lose and stuff. So that's what I always do, as we're now finally going into Mount Silver. And I'll try to use my Master Ball, I believe, for Suicune. But I never even used it. And here we go. Only Okay, this is the only place I can go. This place requires a... Oh, there's not that much snow here, apparently. You get this item right here. Ugh, fucking male, useless. Hey, Daiki, nice to see you. Okay, that's a dead end. There's an item right there. Alright, so which... Well, there's a tunnel right here, but I saw an um, item right here. Okay, to repel war off. Put on another one. Uh, no, I told you to keep... Turn, for crying out loud. Reflect, that's useless at this point in the game. So, go over here, down this... Into this tunnel. Okay, at the, oh, great, dead end right there. Go this way. Oh, that's ni nice. No, there better be a um, path down here that I didn't see yet. Uh-oh, there isn't. That's not good. But then where the hell do I go? You need to keep a close eye on all the pillars. I see a tunnel right down there, but I got a feeling I just went down it. So that's it. Oh, I, I see this staircase right here. Alright, so where does this go? That's the question. Did I just come through here? I have no... Okay, I think I'm going the right way now. Think, okay, that leads nowhere. And I know Moltres here, but... Okay, the Repel wore out. But I'm not going to worry about catching it and stuff like that. So, um... I think this is... Oh, this is probably the way to silver. I mean, I'm red. I think it was... I think, matter of fact, I think it was that hole right there where Moltres would be at, but huh, that's fine. Didn't one there. Or maybe I'm going to think of something wrong. Maybe it's somewhere else. The upgrade... That's useless since I can't. Their, um, trade evolutions never got changed. That's because I don't have um, Polygon or Polygon 2. Alright. Alright, so now another Max Repel. I think there was an item right here. Ah, Rock Smash. Well, screw it up. There's an item back there. Here we go up here. Okay, now the snow's appearing. Oh, another tunnel right here. Okay, that was the dead end. And down here, another I am in another dead end, of course. A power belt. I sold everything I found my fault was useless too. 
to um, get a whole bunch of um, revives and um, ma max stores, I mean, um, four, four stores and stuff like that. I, mean, I think this is the way I gotta go. I think I gotta do rock climb up here from now on. Alright, so now up we go. There's an item right here. We'll get that. No, oh, I told you to look to the left. Jesus Christ. Another useless berry. Okay, that's a dead end right there, so... So it looks like this is not the way I gotta go. So down back, down we go. Go for this tunnel that I didn't do. Okay, over here, up, the repel wore out again. Good God, it's been almost six minutes in, I still haven't even seen Red yet, got into his room. All right, so this way we go. I'm on the verge of beating Heart Gold for the first time since the summer of 2010. I think I'm going the right way. This is the first time I've been back here since. Matter of fact, I actually, this is um, only the sec third time I've ever been through um, Kanto, believe it or not. That summer of 2010, I did a game, if you all remember my um, trainer timelines, I did one with a trainer called me named Hina back in um, Jan early January 2016. I went. For, I did her game, but I never finished it. It was in Kanto, and now this. Only the third time ever. Hopefully, this is the correct way I'm going now. Beat Red here for only the second time ever. And no, I am right here. Well, this is it. Red, right there. All right. So, um, who should I have up? Front is the question. Since it's not gonna be Pikachu, it's gonna be weak. That's for damn sh Hey, since it's his strongest and perhaps his starter, even though if you go by other um series, you'd think Charizard would be his um starter. Actually, tr yeah, Charmander actually. Since this Pikachu's gonna be a front, and I like I said, I set it to um where um the um randomized Pokemon are exactly I mean around the same um um base. Str um, base that strength. So whatever this is, probably gonna be another Pikachu or something like Clefairy, because I think Clefairy and Pikachu are around the same strength base stat wise. All right, so Psyka should be able to handle this. All right, here we go to take on Red. Uh, Red, I mean Gold Silver reference. And there he is. And on time to challenge this. Oh, a Lumion, huh? I guess Lumion's around the same strength for Pikachu. That's quite an interesting surprise. And of course, that hail is going to affect the outcome of the battle, too. Alright, then! So, we'll get things started with Headbutt. Of course, that's Speed Van. It's so a U-turn. That is Red Strategy. You can switch out regularly. As that didn't do that much. So, what's he going to send out now? Toga Kiss. Okay, that could be trouble. And that Headbutt. Good nothing. And of course, it's going to have, um, um, Aurora Sphere. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll send Kake out there, since everyone else is... Ke I should have sent probably Keys out there, I probably should think about that, because I like, forgot about Ice Fang. Oh, Kake should do itself well, I mean, handle himself, but Aurora Sphere, that's not going to do shit. And literally did nothing, watch, he'll probably switch out again for someone. That's going to hurt both of them. Alright then, do an Outrage. Of course, it probably won't be enough, unfortunately. Because Togekiss has such a high defense. Come on. Come on! Yes! Oh, good critical hit, too! Alright, so now, Lumion and what's left? I know all the starters are at 84, so I won any of the starters. Pikachu was at 88. Then he had a Lapras and Snorlax. One was at 81, one was at 82, and the stars are at 84. Electivar, okay, something else new. Okay, this replaced one of the starters. Thunder, oh, it missed it! You remember how annoying that Electivire was in the last bunch of episodes ago? I think the one Brock had. Oh my god, that was like, so annoying. And how much? Come on, be enough? Shit, it held on. And of course, it missed Thunder. Hopefully, that'll be the case again, which would be normal effective still. And both got hit. I wonder if Hail makes any difference for the- Oh, great, confused already. I wonder if Hail made- would make any difference in terms of, um, the power- actually of Thunder. Oh, gonna go for Giga Impact. I think Dragonite has pretty good defense compared to special defense, so it might hold on. Or at least I hope that we can get a turn off. Yes! Free turn now. Come on, Kake, attack! Give it! 
don't start this shit with me with confusion again from like the last two episodes. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Probably gonna go into red. Oh great, here we go into red. Alright then, um... He's gonna heal him most likely, unless it has to miss for it um, recharge. So we'll throw Daiki out there, who knows, Earthquake. First time in his battle in a long time. And got switched out for the Sandstorm, that's pretty good. Yep, had to do a recharge. So, Red's probably gonna heal up you here. So we'll do an Earthquake, and there he goes. As this should hopefully one-shot you. And... Uh, See how much will that do is the question. Will that high attack pull through? Collectifier is pretty good defense, I believe, and it wasn't a another critical hit! Are you kidding me? Wow! Oh my goodness! So now. Two down, I believe. Up, oh, throwing back Lumion out. And of course probably gonna have the speed advantage. And of course I got like really nothing against it. But I believe Stone Edge might be normal effective. Oh, it's Bounce! So it's gonna mess, of course. I'm surprised it would do that since that's useless. Should know a water type move, perhaps, at this level. Stone Edge. Here we go. Okay, that was normal effective. And of course, Lumion does not have really good stats. Oh, damn it, held on. Earthquake. I, yeah, Earthquake should be enough. U turn. Okay, it's gonna switch something out now. So now the question is. Damn, that was super effective! Good god! I thought it would been no effect for the rock. Alright, so now what is the question? Sceptile, okay. That's not good. That's. Okay, it's not one of the stars. Earthquake, I think, will be normal effective. Of course, hopefully, it'll be enough to take out Sceptile. Oh, great. Not very effective. Alright, so now we're gonna get hurt by the Sandstorm. Alright, Shuta, you're gonna go up front as you learn Gunk Shot now, too. Hopefully, your Axie will pull through, too. And now, Detect Hit, which failed. So, now only has a 50% chance of working this time around. As they both got hurt by the Sandstorm. Here we go! A Mud Shot. Oh, great. Got fucking Detect off again after 50% Axie. Crying out loud. Got the Slam. Shouldn't do anything. And of course, Shuda, you had to go and miss. Thank you a lot. Really appreciate it. Fucking does detect! Fucking run out of PP for gunshot. I mean, gunshot. Leaf Storm now. That's gonna do a lot, but it's also gonna lower your special attack a lot. Oh my god, it did so much. It's not gonna do anywhere near that much now that you did that. Alright, got gunshot off. And went down. I think that's free down now. So now, up out next. Rabidash, okay, so this should be one of the step and one of the starters. Alright, Mud Bomb will go. Oh great, got Fire Blast off. Oh jeez, that's gonna be a problem. I think Shoot has pretty good special defense though, but don't think it's gonna be enough! And of course, oh great, critical hit too. Alright, so now, Kizuna will go out front and just do an Aqua Tail. Flare Blitz, oh boy, that's gonna do a lot. It's also gonna do a lot of damage to Rabidash, too. And good God, did so much for not being very effective. Here we go with the Aqua Tail. Come on, high attack, pull through. Since I wasted not taking you Hydro Pump, it was enough! Alright, so Keys and I took you out, so down two left now. I think Lumion's one of them, and I think one of the starters is still remaining. So now, Lumion again! Alright, this time you're getting annoying. We gotta finish you off once and for all. Go for a crunch. Oh, great bounce. And of course, both got hurt. Yeah, land the bounce. It shouldn't do that much, though. And okay, did oh, great! Paralyzed! They know you can paralyze with bounce. But thankfully, Kizuna got the crunch off. And f oh, what? How did you not get knocked out? That's bullshit. Oh, good. Thank God the sandstorm pulled through right there. Oh my God, I was like ridiculous. How the hell would that knock you out? That's bullshit. All right, so last up, Arcanine. <laughs> How about that? And of course, it's gonna lower Aqua Tail's attack. And of course, not having speed advantage either. 
I need to tell how I'm similar to this, just like in my crystal play for to have a croc, a toad, uh, I mean, a frogger to finish this off. Of course, it's probably not going to be the case for Keys in it this time around. Got the Aqua Tail off, though! Will this be enough? There's the question. Of course, it lowered its attack. And it. Oh, it went to the red! It wasn't enough! Shit! He's going to heal up again, too. Yeah, it's definitely going to heal up now, most likely. Alright, Eureka! I have not used you once in this battle, so we're going to send you out. As he's going to heal up, most likely. Here we go with the full restore. Alright, here we go. A rock slide to hopefully finish it off. A fire fang. Hopefully it won't get burned. As that did an okay amount. Damn, it got burnt! Oh, God, man! It fucking missed, too! Just great! Burnt and missed! Oh god, Fire Fang again? God, it's annoying! And oh my- oh great, another critical hit too! You missed again! What the fuck?! How can you keep missing?! This is ridiculous, Yuriko! God, this is terrible! What the fuck?! It's three times in a row! Rock Slide has a 90% accuracy, you can't keep missing these many times, it's ridiculous! And of course, got another Fire Fang off? Come on, Yuriko! Jesus Christ, this was ridiculous! You should have landed all three of those times beforehand! And of course, wasn't not enough because it burned. Got hurt by the singing storm. But of course, Eureka went down. Thanks a lot! You could have probably won if you just got off, um... Got off, um... Rock Slide all three times. But no, you had to go and fucking miss all those times. Alright, Sayaka. Will you finish it off for me? How thin too, just like to Crocodile finish. Man, um, Trill on my Crystal playthrough finished it off. Oh my god, still held on right there. Could Sayaka finish it off here is the question to win this series. Would be fit to have the starter finish it off once again. Of course, the problem is, Dunn probably have the speed advantage, which could be a major problem. Alright, gonna go for the extreme speed. Not gonna have stab, but the problem is that's gonna still do a lot of damage, probably. And Sayaka, of course, has terrible stats! And, of course, well, is not gonna be able to do it. Good God, this Arcanine is annoying as hell! And, of course, gonna get hurt by the poison. Keys is still there. I guess Daiki will finish it off! It'll probably be finished in one turn, too. With the very reliable. Another full restore! You gotta be kidding me! You've used like three of them for crying out loud! Hopefully, an uh, earthquake, super effective, plus um, Daiki's high attack should finish you off. Come on, hopefully, be the case. Come on, so we can end this series! What? Get held on! Are you kidding me? I can't believe that Arcanine actually held on! That's ridiculous! Another full restore! Oh god, this is um. Blaine and shit all over again! How many fucking four stars you have? It's supposed to be just two for crying out two! Oh my god, man! The suspense this is ridiculous! This we should have won this a long time ago because of Yuriko! And that time it held on even better, which is probably for better since um it wasn't enough. Of course the the um sandstorm of course knocked down to the yell um red. Thankfully didn't get off use a full restore that time. And of course, Daiki, you had to go and flinch. It's ridiculous. Sandstorm's gonna probably finish you off before anything else if Daiki can't just get off a hit. Damn, it did so much still. Finally got the Earthquake off! Will this be enough? And yes, it finally was! That Arcanine was so useless, I mean, so annoying. And Daiki will get the final level up of the series. <laughs> and I did it! I finally beat um, Heart Gold for the first time since the um, summer of 2010. I believe it was like between, I would say maybe July, but I think it might have actually been more like in August and September of 2010. So is there going to be a cred scene? Or oh yeah, it's a cred scene. So it's nice to see this again. After finally beating the game. <laughs> but, believe it or not, I actually got 
one more thing I want to do, believe it or not, and <laughs> it's actually going to be kind of, oh, it's, well, actually, it's given out, so it might still be possible to get this, because if you all played, I mean, beaten Heart Gold Soul Silver before, after you beat Red, if you go to Oak's Lab, he'll give you one, the Kanto Stars, which I have never once done, I've never bothered trying getting get, um, Kanto Stars, because what's the point? After all that, I beat the game, actually, so nothing really left to do. And, <laughs> I, gu I guess I'll reveal it, since I, um, fought about this, like, like, a week or so ago. I think I might eventually one day do a Soul Silver game on here, but I think I might make it a little bit more interesting and actually have me start off with a Kanto starter instead. So wouldn't that be funny if I picked the starter here <laughs> to be the same starter I used in that game? That'd be so funny! <laughs> to do a Kanto based game with a um I mean I mean a Johto based game with a Kanto star. That'll be kinda of funny as shit. So be on the lookout for that, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing um that one anytime soon. I mean I've been doing um although I haven't beaten Soul Silver ever as myself, and I mean I've and that's been like eight I'm coming up eight years of not beating it, but I just did Heart Gold for like the last year and two months now, and of course remembered this game glitches out a lot and stuff like that, as you see in many episodes. Like, there was one episode where the title and the um, thumbnail was a glitch because it was so annoying. It happened so many times in that episode. So I don't think I want to go for all that crap again. So it's nice to see that this series, because this was my longest series too at the moment. So now my, um, my, um, black, white, um, tech, um, randomized Nuzlocke Coop with Ruby is the longest one, which we both also did in May of 2016, but that one was at the end of the May, whereas this one was at the very beginning. So this officially means my um, Platinum Nuzlocke and at Coop of Ruby are the last two games that I did everything exclusively on um, Vegas Pro in terms of like the layout and thumbnail and stuff like that, whereas now I have um, um, Photoshop and everything. Now of course, it's a little bit more easy to organize this stuff on Vegas Pro, but the problem is that it takes a long ass time to render and um, the files are much bigger and stuff like that. So it's better to just do Photoshop instead. And hey, like I said, I beat Heart Gold for the first time since the summer of 2010. So, um, I, right now my longest game is, um, Ruby. I haven't beaten that since fall of 2003. Then it's, um, Pearl, which was fall of you know, May 2011, then Platinum, which I never beat, that's been March 2009, then, um, Soul Silver, which I've never beaten, that's September 2009, and Gold, which is the last one I beat, and that was, um, September, you know, um, March 2010, and I believe, um, Soul Silver, I mean, um, Heart Gold was right behind them, too, which I think was to be the sec um, sixth longest game, but now it's the most recent hit, <laughs> but, like I said, huh? Okay, that's right, because I was like, wait a minute, I could swear I went there, because I did an episode, that's right, that's right, I gotta go over here first before I can, um, fly into Kanto. Ugh, my bad. I mean, come on, come on, can't we do, make it this simply, as soon as we, um, get the Kanto, we can just fly right directly over there? Do we have to really make it this complicated? So now, let's see, do I, are they randomized, or do we get an option? Because I, I, it's like I said, um... This is the first time I've ever come back here. Let's see. Yeah. A Pokemon, you mean a couple Pokemon, actually. So, let's see. Oh, it's the case of the same. Alright. So, a Charmander, a Squirtle, and a Bulbasaur, of course. So... Like I said, I think I'm gonna do a game on Soul Silver sometime, maybe next year. And I think I made a little bit, I thought of an idea to make it a little bit more interesting by having one of the Kanto stars be one of them instead. So, the one I pick here might be the one I use in that game too, that'd be so funny. Now the question is, what do I pick? Cause when it comes to the starters, I actually, after I get all three, I usually go in rotation, so um... Because I just did, um, Squirtle on my, um, blue game I did off-screen a couple days ago. Like, last week, remember? And I think I also did Squirtle, too, when I did my, um, my, um, Red Nuzlocke. So I think I picked Squirtle two times in a row, then. 
Uh, but then again, I just did my fire, a uh, fire red game off screen to try and beat that for the first time ever outside of Momon. I picked Bulbasaur in that one. So, looks like Charmander might be the uh, the choice. <laughs> oh boy, if I pick Charmander, that's gonna be quite easy. Cause remember with Dragon Rage too, that'll be six selling. So yeah, we'll take Charmander. Uh, Oh, excuse me! You want to make the episode take a little bit longer? I mean, for fuck's sake, man! And of course, I don't know if it's immediately after you beat Red, but I think it was sometime when you go to, um, go to, um, back to Pewter, you can find Steven, and he'll, um, give you, I think, the Ho one of the Hoenn stars, too, but, eh, there's no point at doing that since, um, I'm not gonna be able to, um, um, Get that in like in soul silver and i don't think i'm gonna do that you know what i just thought of i thought of a really cool idea but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it but i i'm gonna deposit two more just in case i just thought of an, another idea for the um that soul silver game how about use both the kanto and a ho and starter in the game and just exclusively do them <laughs> now that would be kind of interesting and very cool idea too and of course repel wore out all right kake of course thankfully i didn't put you in so that'd be an interesting idea to do but first things first gotta get that kanto starter wow the credits ended so many a long time ago and i still haven't finished this game off it's incredible I'm just taking slow pace now, just enjoying it. And I really should save, too, because it's been a while. Alright, take Charmander. <laughs> now, it, what I name you, nickname you, I'm going to pick what I'm going to do in my Soul Silver game. Alright, you're a male. So, I already did that. Um, um. I can't remember how to spell this. I'm probably spelling it wrong too. My Jima. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm spelling it incorrectly. Of course, I just don't remember off the top of my head how to spell it. I need to. It's a. It's the um. It's the main character on um. Kira Kira you play as if you read that. I also nicknamed you that even though it's completely incorrect spelling. I know that for a fact. I, were you giving me something? Okay, so, um, let's check you out, Maijima. Not bad. So now I guess I'll go fly over to Peter and see what happens, because if I get one of the Hoenn starters, that would be interesting. That would be a really cool idea that I fought of, too. And, of course, I had to go get the Magnet Pass and stuff, as there's Steven right here. And, of course, he's going to talk about Latios or Latios right here, which, of course, I'm not going to be able to take care of right now. I guess Latios and Latios are only in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, perhaps? So I don't get, like, a choice? So I, I, cooks, I, I'm pretty sure there was a, um, an event, well, not an event, like a um, mystery gift option to get Latios and Latios, but I'm not quite sure. Alright, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm looking up. He does talk about Latios only on Heart Gold. Alright, so now he should appear in, um, Silph Co. now. I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of editing, too. And I see you still behind me, Psyche, as we're about to finish the series off. Hopefully you... Oh, good, he is there. So. He's going to talk about stones, I believe. Alright, so. Green would be Trico, red would be Torchic, and blue would be Mudkip. Hmm. Well... I already think I mentioned before when I do that Momon em Mo that um, Emerald Momon play for I am taking Mudkip on that. That's not that's completely not I me. Mean, I'm not gonna change. I did tree. I haven't picked Trico since my um, Emerald Nuzlocke almost two years ago, and I did um Torchic on um the um, Reborn play for that canceled many months ago. So Trico of all these is the longest I haven't done. So, the green stone. <laughs> so, got Trico. So, let's see, what should I name you? I, I 
have an idea, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to nickname you right now. Sorry, Trico. I know I want to nickname you as, but I just don't remember. It's another character from Kier Kier. It's, um, Maijima's, um, friend. Oh, Mirakami or something like that. I should remember that. <laughs> Gentle and somewhat stubborn. It does sound like a Mirakami somewhat. So, now that would be a really interesting idea for a Soul Silver game he using just a Charmander and a Trico. Now that would be really interesting. <laughs> or actually, also an idea would probably be a um um can't Johto Star, but I think I'm pushing it quite far to have three of them. That'd be that'd be pretty funny though. Well. Like I said, I'm now going to end off the series. Anything left to say, Sayaka? <laughs> oh, of course. If y'all remember when I first started the series on, um, PokeTube, like, back in, um, May of 2016, I actually did a funny, um, picture with Sayaka on my shoulder and stuff. That was pretty funny and stuff. So, yeah, me and Sayaka, we're not going to, unfortunately, be playing much longer, as once this video is up, your file will be long deleted by then. But it was nice using you as a starter, even though you were pretty weak and all. And I really enjoyed the series, although there was a lot of headaches at the end of the series. And of course, it was nice to finally beat Soul I mean, Heart Gold for the first time since the summer of 2010, after almost seven years. And my, I think it was my sixth longest game ever. Now it's my most recent. I think I've beaten three games now in July. That's impressive. So I hope you enjoyed the series. And um, I can't say I'm going to do a new series yet because I'm still kind of a, a little bit of annoyed that I finished the um, Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke so soon. So I might wait a bit before I do another game. And of course I am going to do um, Coliseum and XD to September. And I'm definitely going to probably do Mobon very soon for Emerald. And there's another game I'm going to plan on doing but I'm not going to reveal it. And of course you all hear about Soul Silver, and there still might be a game I might do for um, streaming, but I don't know what that's going to be yet, we'll have to wait and see. But I know, like, definitely guarantee you it's not going to be a Nuzlocke for that one, it's going to be just a regular playthrough. Well I hope you all enjoy this series, as I'm going to finally finish it off after a year and two months. So Jenny, and hope you go watch my other series too.